do you want to know? Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel and today the content of my vlog is about my journey to the Philippines at this time of pandemic. It's uh, a roller coaster ride at uh, hindi po naging madali para sa akin ang journey na to though it's only an 8 hour flight but prior to this uh, journey I had a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, maraming emosyon na bumuhos bago pa man nangyari ang flight na to. And uh, so this is, uh, I'm, I'm gonna talk about it. And including na rin sa uh, topic na to, yung mga uh, procedures uh, ng, ng pag-uwi from point of my origin up to my destination at hanggang sa makarating ako dito sa aking quarantine facility. So, uh, check this out guys you have to uh, watch this video until the end okay let's talk about the roller coaster of emotions i i told you earlier why why i i said that it's a roller coaster of emotion okay so i'm gonna share the timeline of uh, of my uh, journey to the philippines uh, which started last april 12 yes april 12 12 is supposedly um my flight my original flight via Etihad airlines but uh due to the travel capacity um na sinet ng ating government here in the philippines i was not able to take a seat on that night nagpunta ko sa airport but sadly i was not given the chance to take a seat dahil sobrang limited lang ng travel capacity that day so, uh, so I rebooked my schedule uh, on the 14th. So April 12th, that's the the first my first attempt to uh, to take a flight to the Philippines, and uh, second is on April 14th. And uh, sadly again, I was not able to take a seat. Um, dahil nga sa travel capacity na sinusunod ng mga airlines. And then, so that's 14th. So, nagpalipas muna ako ng ilang araw and again, I booked my flight on April 23rd hoping that um, the travel capacity uh, will change because that's what our uh, government uh, informed na April 21st is malilift na ang travel capacity. But, uh, contrary to that, hindi nga po, hindi nga tumaas ang travel capacity. So as expected, but then again, I tried my luck, I tried my chance, I went to the airport for the third time, uh, and sadly, I was not able to take a seat. So yun, so from 12 to 23, uh, yun yung uh, three uh, attempted, uh, I, yun yung three attempts ko to take a flight, but I was not able to take a flight. So, 23rd, medyo nangangarag na ako. Medyo na-depressed na ako dahil uh, yung grace period ng visa ko is about to expire. And then, uh, one more thing, from the 12th, na supposedly is the night of my flight, um, nakitira na lang ako sa isang kaibigan, which uh, uh, sobrang sobrang big ng heart ng mag-asawang ito na kaibigan ko sa Abu Dhabi and of course I won't forget this uh, good deed na binigay nila sa akin na uh, na uh, walang selfishness nilang binigay sa akin shout out to my friends ang mag-asawang friend ko Rolly and Lisel Matuto um, sobrang sobrang big talaga ng heart nila I cannot I cannot define how big is their heart and uh, you cannot uh, sa panahong ito um, hindi mo na kasi ma-expect ang, ang maraming tao na gagawa nito but um, God is really great God really provides um, at this time at that time na uh, I needed I needed um, some people to help me dahil wala na akong bahay dahil I expected na makakuha ko ng flight on the night of April 12, but I was not able to take a flight. So, on that day, from two, April 12 up to my flight, na yun ng finally na nakakuha na ako ng flight, tumira ako sa bahay nila free. Walang cost. 
and shout out also sa kanilang uh, landlady and landlord na napakabuti din ng puso kasi pinagdara nila ako doon without any extra charge. So yun, although free ang ang sinabi ko na tinitirhan ko, of course, um, sobrang nahihiya din ako uh, kasi uh, in spite of yung kawalan ng mag-asawa, for your information, hindi po sila yung may malaking sahod sa Abu Dhabi. But then, um, yun nga, sobrang uh, hindi po sila madamot kaya pinatira po nila ako sa kanilang tirahan. And of course, uh, in spite of that, gusto, gustong gusto pa rin makauwi. So, I tried to, to find a booking that time. But re my gosh, I cannot imagine yung sobrang taas ng, uh, ng ticket, air ticket that time na hindi ko alam, uh, this is disclaimer, <laughs> hindi ko alam kung bakit that time na pinatupad ng Pilipinas ang, ang protocol which makes it hard for us OFWs and non-OFWs um, na makauwi ng Pilipinas and at the same time sobra ang taas ng, ng ticket that time ng mga airlines imagine uh, for one way booking 9k dirhams my gosh more than 100,000 saan ka kukuha ng ganong kahalaga sa isang ordinaryong manggagawa na katulad ko so with this experience, ang dami, ang dami kong nakilala sa Facebook page um, with the same experience as mine, the same at mas worst pa sa akin. I uh, came to know na ang dami na rin due to this uh, travel uh, capacity protocol na maraming hindi nakasakay at marami na ang na-expired ang visa and uh, no choice yung iba na to overstay or yung iba naman is uh, bumili sila ng panibagong visa. So, I'd like, uh, I'd like to open up or I'd like to share this information. Yes, um, we understand, we fully understand na ang concern ng, ng ating government is yung safety ng nakakarami. And we fully understand that na they set a protocol of the travel capacity just to contain the rising, the rising number of cases here in the Philippines of uh, COVID cases. But then, ang naging consequence noon sa ating mga OFW all over the world, especially the those who are who are already uh, who are having a, a cancel visa, is naging sobrang struggle po sa kanila yon. Dahil of course, if you are already canceled, wala ka ng sweldo, wala ka ng visa, and good if you are able to still um, mag, uh, yung merong ka pa yung matitirhan. But what about those na wala na talagang maasahan? Wala na talagang matirhan? Saan sila titira? And of course, yung daily, daily, their daily survival. Yung pangkain nila. Kasi of course, Abu Dhabi, their homes ang gastos. Saan? Although may pera silang hawak, of course naman, yun ay perang panimula na nila sa kanilang uh, pag for good sa Pilipinas and araw-araw na nabawasan. That's my personal experience also. Of course, kahit nakitira ako, syempre, kailangan ko din mag-share sa food na kahit ayaw ng mag-asawa, I understand the situation dahil wala din, limited din ang resources nila. So, yun ang gusto kong malaman ng ating government, the, the consequence of this travel capacity na um, sana you can you consider also uh, the plight of those who are in other countries na with cancelled visa na because they need to rebook their tickets at a higher rate para lang makauwi sila and their expenses, daily expenses ng food. Of course, we have our OWA who can assist them but alam din po natin na sobrang dami na rin ng, ng mga distressed OFW sa kanilang ward. So, parang ayaw na rin natin makadagdag sa kanilang burden. So, what are yung iba ang ginagawa? Yun nga sinabi ko, bumili na ng panibagong visa which is which cost more or less 1,000 dirhams and their daily sustenance and yung ginagawa na lang ng ibang cancel the OFW is nagpa-part-time sila which is very dangerous at this time dahil sa COVID and also uh, limited din ang, uh, ang what do you call this uh, limited ang part-time at this time because it's Ramadan so yun and of course na to mention that emo, uh, yung mga mental and emotional and psychological uh, depression na or yung mga depression na nararanasan nila dahil gusto na nilang makauwi at makasama ang pamilya nila. So, yun lang naman ang hindi, um, this is disclaimer, we're not, I'm not or we're not uh, complaining at all sa protocols na sinet ng ating government but uh, sana po, sana po um, consider 
the struggle of those struggles of those OFW with cancel visa already na hindi makakuha ng ng flight at this time na sana po uh, bigyan niyo din ng pansin at bigyan din ng solusyon na yung mga overstay fines nila sana uh, kung pa pwede po na sana na i-shoulder na ng government natin para yung panimula nilang pera sa kanilang pag-uwi ay maging intact pa rin na para hindi na rin sila maging burden pa rin ng government natin. Of course, before I forget, I want I wanted to shout out uh, all the officials and uh, re uh, representatives of our OWA in Abu Dhabi uh, who helped me uh, sa aking uh, uh, sa aking transportation going to Dubai sa aking flight. Actually, nung third, uh, third attempt ko uh, on April 23rd sa Abu Dhabi Airport, tinulungan din nila ako na uh, magpunta doon, going back and forth. Uh, kasi sabi ko nga, uh, pumupunta lang kami sa airport, daladala uh, dala -dala ang aking <laughs> magbigat na bagahe um, at ang mode of transportation lang namin is the public bus sa Abu Dhabi. So, yon And then, um, yung mismong flight ko on May 3rd going to Dubai. Special shout out, moms and sirs. <laughs> Sorry po, hindi ko na po maalala yung mga names nyo, but you know who you are. Diyan sa uh, Owa, Abu Dhabi, who helped me um, um, papunta pa ng Dubai by providing me transportation and um, inassist po ako um, sa pag-check-in hanggang sa makalampas ako sa sa, sa, what do you call this, makalampas ako sa immigration. So, hinintay po nila ako bago sila umuwi, bumalik ng Abu Dhabi. Special shout out for all those OFWs in Abu Dhabi and entire UAE. Um, just approach our, our uh, officers, our representatives. They are there to help you, whatever is your concern. So, just reach out to them sa kanilang mga numbers and uh, check nyo lang sa website ng OWA Abu Dhabi or Facebook page ng OWA Abu Dhabi. And shout out also sa ating Philippine government, sa ating OWA dito sa Pilipinas um, for providing us uh, this um, quarantine uh, facility um, sa aking mga OFW, mga katulad ng OFW, don't compare, don't compare na why, bakit yung iba magaganda ang hotel. They are in a very nice hotel and as you can see, ay, hindi ako nagre-reklamo na ganito lang yung binigay sa akin because uh, ang importante comfortable ka, safe ka although yung iba nga mas magaganda yung hotel, don't compare kasi maybe that time uh, dun yung uh, uh, dun yung available na hotel quarantine facility so huwag kayong mag-compare bakit si ganito bakit si Juan, bakit si Kulas bakit si Pedro maganda yung hotel And bakit ako, bakit ako si Juan na ganito lang hotel ko, don't ever compare uh, we have to be grateful kasi free as OFW free ang ating quarantine facility libre ang pagkain and we're only paying um 1000 plus uh, every 2 years para sa ating OWA membership so sa ating mga OFW na active pa right now sana magbayad po kayo <laughs> sana magbayad kayo ng kanin inyong membership kasi dahil ganito na yung nangyayari every time we are going home may quarantine tayo as required by the government so Tulong na rin po natin sa ating gobyerno na sana magbayad tayo sa ating OWA membership. And aside from that, marami tayong mga benefits pa na ma makukuha sa ating membership. So yun, um, finally, I uh, was able to find a booking na medyo mababa ang rate, which is um, medyo mababa na hindi naman masasabing sobrang baba. It's costly pa din, but compared sa other, other booking na nahanap ko sa ibang airline, may medyo mababa na itong nahanap kong booking. So, um, ito na yung medyo nagsimula talaga yung sobrang ngarag, um, sobrang depression ko, and depression na rin ng ibang kumuha ng ticket uh, doon sa travel agencies na nag-offer ng charter flight. Yes, it's charter flights. They call it chartered flight. So, we expected na matutuloy na talaga yung flight namin. Um, yun lang talaga. Um, uh, yung mga, mga ilang travel agencies sa Abu Dhabi na I won't mention them anymore. You know kung sino kayo na nagbigay ng false hope and false information sa aming OFW na nandun sa Abu Dhabi and Dubai or entire UAE na uh, who expected na makaka na. So, ayon 
sobrang nag nagdepress kami so kaya maraming nagbash sa kanila sa Facebook mara naka nakatanggap sila ng masasakit talaga na salita sa mga OFW na katulad ko dahil hindi mo naman talaga sila masisisi dahil ando na nga yung sobrang depression na nararamdaman namin tapos ganun pa yung ginawa na uh, they gave false hope and information at sana next time wag naman ganun uh, consider uh, putting your yourself on on our shoes na wag sanang wag niyo na sanang gawin yun uh, in the future sa mga katulad namin na uh, OFW who are struggling. Uh, <laughs> but then, okay na yon, Nakauwi na rin kami. Finally, nakauwi na rin. Kaya, let it be a lesson for, for you also na sana kayong mga agents and travel agencies don't give false hope and information sa mga clients nyo. So, ayun. So, Uh, sa lahat ng mga nangyaring ito from yung sa timeline ko um, sa aking flight uh, what did I learn and ano yung um, naging evaluation ko, ano yung naging reflection ko of course <laughs> I'm, just a, I'm just human I'm not hypocrite to say na sobrang naging calm lang ako uh, during this, those period no um, nag fret ako nag alit Of course, na-repress up to the point na hindi na ako nakakatulog. Alas 5, alas 6 na ako ng uh, madaling araw nakakatulog. But then, uh, I prayed. But I, I, hindi ako, nag, na hindi ko nakakalimutang mag-pray. Magpasalamat pa rin sa panibagong umaga sa aking pagising na uh, sabi ko na lang sa sarili ko why it, did, why it happened. Uh, ang ganda ng plano na makaka-uwi na ako ng April 12. Well, did not allow me to go home on that very day. So sabi ko, um, maybe is God is trying to teach me something, which is more patience. Nakita niya siguro sa akin, kulang pa ang patience mo, Joanna. Kaya niya binigay sa akin ang struggle na to. Na magkaroon ako ng mas mahabang, mas habang pasensya. Na magtiwala sa kanya sa panahon na nahihirapan ka. Sa panahon na uh, wala kang makakap. Kapitan, kundi siya lang, of course, he will send people as his instruments to help you go through that very difficult situation. Ayun ang aking natutunan sa sa journey ko na to ng pag-uwi ko sa Pilipinas at this time of pandemic. Kaya sana uh, for all those who are struggling, right now, we may have different plights, we may have different problems that we are currently going through but just have faith yung yung faith natin uh, taasan pa natin taasan pa natin yung faith natin na god will never will never leave us naniniwala ako doon lagi na he will never forsake us yun yung isa sa mga favorite verse ko na all these things will come to pass. Hindi kanya ilalagay dyan na hindi ka rin makakalabas. We have to always uh, uh, put it in our hearts, in our minds, na uh, laging, lagi niya tayong pinupul from, from that struggle na kung nasaan man tayo ngayon. Kaya, it sounds absurd, but um, from the Christian point of view, God do small and big miracles every day in our lives. And we just have to be grateful. We just have to be thankful all the time. Um, God is good all the time. He always provides uh, sa pamamagitan ng mga taong ipapadala niya sa ating buhay. So I hope um, nakapagbigay ako ng inspiration sa lahat ng mga struggling I hope so and um, sana um, may natutunan din kayo sa mga binahagi ko sa araw na ito God bless you all and see you on my next vlog Just a piece of information if you are traveling uh, via Cebu Pacific Airways um, magbaon na lang po kayo ng non-perishable uh, foods po ninyo like uh, biscuits or anything na hindi madaling masira para may makain ko kayo on board kasi yung binili nating ticket um, 
via Cebu Pacific Airways, usually it's only uh, the cost of, I mean, the cost of airfare ninyo. So, uh, para na lang hindi po tayo magreklamo at the time na nandun at po tayo sa flight natin, magbaon na lang. Magbaon na lang po kayo ng foods. Kasi um, medyo mahal, of course, nasa nasa onboard po tayo so alam po natin kung gaano kamahal naman ang ang fuel ng pag-travel uh, travel by air kaya yun magbaon na lang po tayo para wag, wala nang hindi ka na mag-complain